Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting problem today. We need to rate this expression to the 12th power. Okay, on the first side this is like really easy because we have right here a constant, but what about this constant? We have a really good denominator, this is equal to 2, so it's really good to raise this to the 12th power, but what about this one? We cannot add it, so we can like add it approximately on our telephone, but we don't need to use telephone, we need to know a really good math tricks how can we do this. So let's, for example, this is our x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and let's step by step find our x from here. So let's use cross multiply. So as a result, 2x equal to 1 plus square root of 5. Okay, we just cross multiply this expression. So 2x equal to 1 plus square root of 5. And right now, let's bring this one to the left hand side. So we will have 2x minus 1 equal to square root of 5. Square root of 5 is not a good number in our case because right here we don't need square root. This is a really bad sign for us because we, we need to raise this and we don't need this square root every time. So let's raise both sides to the square. Let's square both sides right here. So as a result, this is our formula a minus b square. This is equal to a square minus 2ab and plus b square. This is our formula right here. So as a result, 2x minus 1 square to x minus 1, we rate this to the square, equal to square root of 5, we squared it. Okay, let's go next, let's raise this to x minus 1 to the second power. So 4x square, real quick formula, minus 4x plus 1 equal to 5. And this looks like quadratic equation right here, because if we bring this one to the left hand side, we will have 4x square minus 4x and right here 1 minus 5 equal to minus 4, equal to, equal to 0. And we don't need like to find our x, but because if we divide right here both sides by 4, we will have that our x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. And from here, take a look closely at the main like key formula right here, because if we bring x and 1 to the left hand, to the right hand side, we will have that our x square equal to x plus 1. And this is maybe the key moment right here, because as you can see, we can change every x square as x plus 1 in our next calculation rest right here. So it's, as you can see, we can reduce our power, so which is bigger, so square we can reduce by the, by the first power. Okay, why I do this thing right now? Take a look closely. Second step right here. If we have x to the 12th power, we need to find it. We can write it as x square to the 6th power, okay? We can write it as x square to the 6th power. But moreover, x square, right now this is really good because x square equal to x plus 1. So let's go with this. So then we have x plus 1 raised to the 6th power. So as you can see, x, x to the 12th power in our case equal to x plus 1 to the 6th power. This is really good because we don't need like raises to the 12th power. But let's go next. We like don't need to raise it to the 6th power because we can write right here as x plus 1 raised to the power 3 or to the power 2nd and all of these we raise to the power cube. Okay, we have this step. And right now x plus 1 square we can easily raise this. Take a look closely what we will have. We will have, if we raise this, we will have x square plus 2x and plus 1. We raise this to the third power. So I just raise this to the second power, okay? We have this expression. But if we look closely to this, x square, this is like a bigger power, we can write it as x plus 1, because x square equal to x plus 1. Let's write it using this substitution. So we will have x plus 1, and we still have plus 2x and plus 1, plus 2x and plus 1. And we raise this to the third power. Okay, let's go next. Let's add it. So as a result, we have in parentheses, we will have 3x plus 2 raised to the third power. Or, as you can see right now, take a look close that this is cube power. We don't need to raise this to the formula because I'm showing you a really good trick. We can write it as 3x plus 2. We raise this to the square and times one, one more, 3x plus 2. Okay, this is the same as right here. Okay, right here we can easily raise this because we this is a classic formula a plus b squared. So as a result, we will have a plus b squared. We know this formula a squared plus 
to AB and plus B square. We use this formula right here to raise this 3x plus 2 to the square power. Okay, let's raise this. What we will have as a result? We will have 9x square plus 12x and plus 4. This is our first parenthesis right here and we need to multiply it. I write it down right here to this 3x plus 2. So 3x plus 2. Okay, and right now if we look closely to this to this power, sorry, real quick, we have right here x square and we can write it as x plus 1. So as a result, right here, real quick, equal to 9 times x plus 1, so 9 times x plus 1, then plus 12x, 12x, plus 4, and we need to multiply it by 3x plus 2. Okay, 3x plus 2. Right now, real quick, real quick, let's multiply it. We will have 9x plus, plus 9, so 9x plus 9, then plus 12x plus 4, and times 3x plus 2. So we still have these, these parentheses right here. Okay, let's multiply it. Let's first of all, let's simplify this. 9x plus 12x. We will have 21x, 21x plus 13, if we add this, 9 plus 4, and we need to multiply it by 3x 3x plus 2. So 3x plus 2. Okay, let's multiply it. So as you can see, after all steps, x to the 12th power in our case equal to a product of these two parentheses. So let's multiply it. What we will have? We will have 33x square plus 42x plus 39x and plus 26. Okay? Okay. But in our case, this x square, as you can see in a previous step, we can write this x square as x plus 1. Okay, let's do this. So I write it right here on the top. So we will have 63 times x plus 1. So from here we just change this x square by x plus 1. Then plus 42x plus 39x. This will be equal to plus 81x. So plus 81x and plus 26. Plus 26 equal to 33x, right here we raise this, plus 63, plus 81x, and plus 26. Okay, we just need to, to add it real quick. So as a result right here, as you can see, if we add 63 plus 81x, we will have that our x to the 12th power. So as you can see, we go from here in the beginning. This is all equal sign. So this is all step by step, step by step, from here to here. And as you can see, if we add it, we will have x to the 12th power equal to 144x to the power x. Plus right here, we will have 63 plus 26. It will be equal to 81. So as you can see, after all, so this is not like a power, this is our element right here, but we need to know that x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, because we had it in the beginning, x equal to this one. So let's plug in this to this, and what we'll have? That x to the 12th power, in our case, equal to 144 times, right here, this x, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and we need to add plus 89. Let's simplify this a little bit because we can do this. As a result, right here, we can cancel this two and this 144. So as a result, 72. So as a result, we'll have 72 in parentheses, one plus square root of five and plus 89. Okay, real quick, real quick multiplying. 72, multiply this parentheses by this constant, plus 72 square root of five and plus 89 equal to. Okay, let's add it real quick. 72 and 89, we will have 161. So as a result, 161 plus 72 square root of 5. This is our, our answer. So let's write this answer, I guess, right here on the top. So our answer, our answer, x to the 12th power equal to equal to, oh, I write right here as 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 to the 12th power. This is, will be like better for us to the 12th power equal to, we will have 161, 161 plus 
72 square root of 5. And finally, we, we solve it. As you can see, complicated problem, it's not an easy problem, but this is really good trick right here. As you can see, we can reduce our power by one. So as you can see, every square we can write as, as x to the first power, which is brilliant because we need to reduce it step by step. We need to get lower and lower power. So as a result, we solve it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understand this explanation. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.